Hey guys, it is me, the dude who talks, and welcome to a new video. So for today, I'm going to be talking about the latest album from the Infernal Sea called Negotium Crucis. Now, I probably got that wrong, and according to a quick Google Translate, it means business crucifix. But feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, which I most certainly am. So yeah, Negotium Crucis came out last week through Apocalyptic Witchcraft. So a little bit of background about the Infernal Sea, and emphasis on little as these guys are very mysterious. Formed in 2010, they are a black metal band from the Fenlands of East Anglia in the UK. Negotium Crucis follows on from 2017's EP Agents of Satan and 2016's album The Great Mortality. So this is a quote I think from the band themselves that describing the lyrics of the album, lyrically returning to the Middle Ages to explore the dark nature of the Knights Templar and their holy crusades. The album aggressively forewarns of tales of depravity, corruption, deceit, genocide, and reaffirms the sadistic nature of mankind. So that could apply to 2020 as well. So yeah, what did I think of Negotium Crucis? Did I like it or did I want to chuck this album back into the Infernal Sea so I would not have to listen to it again? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's dig right into this. So, from the get-go, you know what you're getting into with this album, and that is black metal through and through. It's got the vicious snarling vocals, it has blast beats aplenty, um, a lots of fast paced riffing as well and also really raw sounding production so yeah that ticks off a lot of boxes for me but I want to just you know dive in a little bit further so I wanted to talk about four songs on the album that best describe the sound and obviously what I liked about the record so I am of course going to be starting off with the first song on the album called Destruction of Shum so yeah, right off the bat we got blast beats, screaming and everything flies forward pace wise. The riff is that usual standard black metal fare which is definitely a good thing in my eyes and the riff definitely keeps up with the blast beats and the pace of the song. The vocals as mentioned earlier have that snarl to them which um, can go towards a much more higher shriek. I kind of prefer that style in black metal than the kind of sometimes growling in some cases, which can be a little bit off, so luckily this band avoids that. So yeah, back to the pace as well. There's this one moment in the song where the song just like goes really fast, and I just thought, wow, this is fucking insane. Even that, if I was to describe this band and the record in one word, it would be ferocious. So... Towards closer to the end of the song, it does something a little unexpected and veers a little bit vocal wise into more like a folk metal direction, which, given the lyrical themes, makes sense. But I'll get into that later. The next song I want to talk about is called Befallen Order. So, yep, yeah, this is another fast paced song from the get go. And the song just feels extremely chaotic in its pacing, but has a little bit of a melodic feel injected into the song. And because of that, the song stuck with me a bit more. I also noticed like this go between two vocalists on the song. There's like really harsh shrieking vocals. And then from the other vocalist, there's like this crazy howl that came across as unhinged. And I kind of like that dynamic and it worked really well on the song. But when it gets closer to the end of the song, the band do something a little bit unexpected and veer into black and roll territory with a solo for me that came out of nowhere and I was like, nice. And it was like black metal, but, you know, we can have fun. And that made me like this album even more. All right, after that, um, the next song I want to talk about is called Devoid of Fear. This song continues the fast momentum on this album. But on this song, they really step up on the riff department and deliver some really earth-shattering riffs on this song. Also, the drumming as well. 
it just goes straight for the jugular in terms of heaviness. And with that, the drumming really shines on here with some, you know, obvious insane blast beats. Not only that, but there's like, towards the end, there's like a nice bit of trem picking towards it. And it just shows the band firing on all cylinders. All right, last but not least, um, the song Unholy Crusade, which starts off a little bit different and has more of an intro to it in a way to build up atmosphere for the song and has a bit of a slower pace, well, for them anyway. I feel on this one, the riffs take centre point over the drumming. They're just hard as fuck. But don't get me wrong, there's still blast beats on this song, so yeah. In those four songs best describe the album. So yeah, now on to the next bit. So outright, this is a really strong album. However, I do have some niggles with it. And you know, this might just be a little bit nitpicking, but you know. Anyway, the opening track, Destruction of Shum. Now I mentioned earlier, it veers a little off into folk metal territory with just some humming just with the vocals. For me, this could be just like me not being the best fan of folk metal. Really sorry, guys. However, it just came across as a little bit flat and didn't quite fit in with the fast-paced nature of the song. However, I do respect them for trying something different, like trying to break out the mould. And going on from that point, I just wish they'd explore more of the black and roll themes, like especially towards the end of before fallen order with that really bitching solo i'm not saying that there should be solos on every song but just something kind of similar to that vibe i wish they did that a bit more the more i listen to this album the more i liked it it's downright ferocious in its pace and just fucking heavy do i think this album is going to be a game changer that's going to turn heads probably not but it doesn't need to be. It is a really strong album and a brilliant effort from these guys that aren't afraid to break out the mould. I hope they expand more on that in future releases to come. So yeah, I reckon you should listen to this album. I think you'll enjoy it. Okay, so that was me talking about Negotium Crucis by The Infernal Sea. Have you given this album a listen yet? Please let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. Like always, if you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, sharing, and maybe subscribing. It really helps out. And yeah, all I've got left to say to you guys is I've been the Doody Talks. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for listening and cheers.